Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Last week we talked about the look and feel tab and how you can apply different themes and layouts to your survey. We also looked at how to add your logo image and customize the background of your survey. Today we will focus on the style and motion sections on the look and feel tab. These sections allow you to personalize your survey by choosing a specific font, modifying your question spacing, adding custom CSS, and more. Let's head over to the look and feel tab and click on the style section. The first thing we'll notice are these two colored dropdowns. While there are differences depending on your survey layout, primary color typically applies to the main elements of your survey, like the progress bar and question highlights. The secondary color applies to smaller elements in your survey, like the next and back buttons. The default font also depends on the layout you have selected, but if you would like to change to a different font, simply click on the font dropdown and select your desired font. The foreground contrast dropdown is the same as the one found in the background section. It allows you to decide the contrast between your survey text and survey background. Question spacing lets you determine the amount of space that is between each question. As you can see, the questions are closer to each other when you select compact and further apart when extended is selected. The question and answer text boxes allow you to customize the size of your survey's font and decide if you want to bold the text or not. You can either use the plus or minus icons or type the pixel size you want directly into the text box. The custom CSS and external CSS text boxes are used to input custom code to customize your survey. To use the custom CSS option, simply type the code directly into the text box and the preview will update automatically. In this case, I'm removing the logo by adding this code. To use the external CSS option, simply enter the URL for your online host. Now let's move on to the motion section. The page transition dropdown has three different transitions you can include in your survey. I suggest going through each one and selecting your favorite. The autofocus option highlights the current question the respondent is on and slightly grays out everything else so the respondent can focus on one question at a time. The auto advance on question setting reduces the amount of scrolling respondents have to do by automatically moving on to the next question as soon as the current question is answered. By default, auto advance displays the done button next to each question, but you can turn this off by checking the hide auto advance button option. Lastly, the auto advance on pages option moves respondents to the next page as soon as they've answered the last question on their current page. Please note, however, that this option enables the back button. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to customize your survey style and motion with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the 2 Minute Tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.